Hey, Frederick. Hey, Lisa. Hey, are you sick of making the same boring old picture over and over again with the same brush strokes that you used the day before and the day before? Oh, I sure am. Well, have I got news for you. What? We could use a different style. <sighs> this feels fake. Yeah, it does. All right, let's just be Lisa and Frederick. Okay, cool. All right, and um, hello everyone, welcome. Welcome. So I'm gonna teach you a new style of painting because sometimes you do get sick of painting with the same kind of brush strokes and creating the same kind of art. So we're gonna teach you a different way to make art. And this way um, can be a little time consuming depending on how you do it, but it can also be very zen and very calming and get you into a zone that feels really cool. So um, if you use it the right way, it can be really fun. So we're gonna do this style of painting called pointillism. Do you know what that means? Uh, I know what a point is. What is a point? Look over there. I just pointed. Okay, what else could be a point? Mm. Like a dot, like this? Oh yeah. That's a point. Yeah. Um, you make a good point. Yeah. Thank you. I appreciate that. Yeah. Thank you. So um, a point could be like a dot on paper. So I'm going to teach you how to make a painting out of using the technique of pointillism. And everybody, um, I think we need to say hello to Muka back here. Hello, Muka. Oh, she's licking her foot. She's busy. She's busy. Oh, there she is. Hi, Moo. There we go. All right, so let's get started. Do you want to go sit over there? Yeah, sure. Okay, so go sit over there and you can do your own painting and I'm gonna do mine over here. And I think I am going to make a pointillism seascape. So I'm gonna use my watercolor paper. I'm gonna use my watercolors and I'm gonna use a pencil. Okay, so first I'm going to very lightly, although for you guys I'm gonna do it not super lightly, but what you'll want to do is very light lines. And I'm going to make an ocean. So this is a seascape. So if you've heard of a landscape before, a landscape is a picture of land. So a seascape is a picture of the sea. That's right. Okay, so we're going to do this. And then I want to have a dolphin jumping out of it. So I'm going to draw a dolphin, which is basically just an arc. And then a little nose that's got like a bottle nose kind of thing. And then a little chin underneath that. And then another arc to kind of match up that kind of almost closes off at the end here. And then we've got a tail, but it's like a fin. So the tail goes like that, okay? And then we have to draw the fins, which are like this. And like that. There we go. Now we want probably an eye. Right? And I think I want a sunset behind the dolphin. So I'm going to do, so drawing a sunset can be difficult, but basically how we've painted it before is we paint a little bit here, and then we do another color here, and then we do another color here, and another color here, and they all kind of blend together. And I'm going to show you how to blend pointillism style, but we're going to do the lines. And again, you're going to do the lines really lightly. I'm doing them dark so that you can see them but really you should be doing them as lightly as you can. So this is gonna be the sun. And then this will start to be kind of that aura around the sun is these lines, okay? So just keep drawing out and you can draw whatever you want, however you want your seascape to look. Maybe you want it all underwater. Maybe you want it all above water. I'm also gonna do the ground at the bottom of the ocean because there's always like sand and rocks and stuff down there. So this is my basic drawing and now I'm going to show you how to use pointillism to fill it in. So if I want to fill in my ocean, I'm going to use ocean colors, but the ocean is several different colors, right? The ocean isn't just blue. There's also some grays and some sometimes greens and purples and all kinds of stuff. So. I'm gonna start with blue, with my blue watercolors, 
And with pointillism, instead of going like this with brush strokes, we just do a dot and then another dot and then another dot. And notice I'm not pressing down really hard on my paper. I'm pressing really lightly. I'm going to show you from the side if I can. Here we go. I'll show you from the side. See how lightly I'm pressing so my brush doesn't go like that. It just goes like that. Okay, I'm making little dots. And I'm going to do that over and over and over again. And I'm just going to do one little section here so that I can show you how to blend colors in. Okay, so I have my blues there, right? And then I want a little bit of green. And instead of blending with brush strokes, we're just going to add a little bit of green in between the blues. So now it looks blue green with the dots, right? And now it doesn't really show up super well on camera, but I promise it looks good. And then I'm going to add some purples in there like that, just to vary it up a little bit so that it's not all blue ocean. So there we go. See how it's like varying colors. So then at the bottom, I'll do the same thing. I'll use colors that would be on the ground in the ocean. So sand, I can use some browns, right? I could do some brown. And then I can clean off my brush really well, go into some yellow. The sand is kind of yellow, right? And then do some, oh, that looks green. I didn't clean my brush enough or I didn't clean my paints might be the case actually. There we go, that looks yellow. All right, so there is my ground. All right, and then for the sunset, I'm gonna do that same kind of thing. I'll start off with the sun, which will be yellow. And I would fill that whole thing in with dots. And then outside of that, maybe we'll go orange. So get that orange nice and wet. Really get it in there. There we go. And so this outside of the sun is going to be orange. And I would do that all around. I would fill in this whole section with orange. And then maybe I move on to red, which is another color that we can use for sunsets, right? Maybe we have red around there. And then after that, I could do like a purple on this one. And I'm going really fast. You don't have to go so fast. You can take it slow and make them really uniform if you want to, make them really pretty. And then on the outside, I'll probably do blue for the sky. Okay, and then for the dolphin, I could go with like, uh, I could lighten up the black or I could lighten up blue or something. I kind of want a pink dolphin. There's actually pink dolphins that live in the Amazon River. So I'm going to do a pink dolphin and I'm going to say this is in the river. So what I have here is I put some red on my palette and I am putting a lot of water on it, which will douse it down to make it really more pink than red. Let me see if I can, it's not really showing up on there, but this part is pink, this part's very red. So I'm going to paint the dolphin with that. And it looks similar to the red, but not quite as dark. Okay, so I would color my whole dolphin in like that. I'd give it the, the eyeball here with just one dot, okay? So I would do my whole painting like this and through the magic of television, it's like a cooking show. I already have the finished product right here. So this is the dolphin I made and this is because of this, it goes on here. That's why that was there. But this is the dolphin I made. So see how my ocean is like a bunch of different colors and my ocean floor is mostly brown and yellow and then my pink dolphin and I made the smile and the eye out of dots as well. And then I did my whole sunset in dots as well. 
So you could have your whole picture look like this or look like whatever you want it to look like, only with just dots instead of brush strokes. And it's just a different way to paint. And it's kind of cool because you sit there and do dot and dot and dot. And then you just like, your mind kind of goes blank. And it's like meditating. And it can feel really good. So I challenge you to try this. And if you want to, if you start off with a smaller picture or a smaller painting, that can kind of help sometimes. Um, but I hope you enjoy it. I enjoyed it. Did you? I fell asleep. Well, okay, that's fair. You've been tired, though. Yeah, I've been tired, but also um, I wasn't painting, so I got bored. That's okay. That's all right. Um, do you want to go paint now? Oh, yeah, I'm very excited to paint. Um, okay, so I'm going to go paint, and I hope you guys do, too. Yeah, we hope you have fun making points. Yeah, make a good point, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one, and then another one. And then another one. Okay, bye. And then another one. And then another one.